Well, good morning. This part of the video is for a friend of mine, Scott Cairns. Scott is a wonderful guy. He's a pastor. Uh, he's a great humanitarian, friend of all kinds of people. Anyway, um, he is also a, uh, a, a Brasi, a, a, a Brazier. He's, he makes coffee and he makes it very well. And Scott, this is for you because I've graduated. When I first started camping, it was instant coffee which was terrible. I tried buying coffee at the campsites and that was never any good. And then you may recall that I made White Castle coffee in a uh, percolator, but I have graduated. This morning I'll be using my new coffee press. French, of course. And it is French because I'm in Canada. Get it? French-Canadian? I don't think that's where that came from, but anyway. Um, I also have fresh coffee beans. Java Delight. You're probably laughing. There's probably better brands, but I'm out in the woods. Everything tastes great. So in order to have uh, eat, check these out. Yeah. Beans. Smell the... You, you can... Well, you get the idea. But in order to really do this right, one must have a coffee grinder. And a crank. Need to get some water going. This is fresh, clean water imported from the United States from our tap at home. Good old St. Louis water. Tastes great. Get that going and I'll be right back. And we're back. I've got my coffee just at the right boil and I've turned it off. My grounds are beautiful. You just take the top off of this coffee grinder. You can see it's got ceramic teeth in there. And then trucker boys going by on the highway. Ceramic teeth in there, easy to clean, stay sharp. And oh, do they make beautiful coffee grounds. Now you can see that, smell that. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Java Delight. People are going to start calling me that. It's no longer Tim Hancock. It's it's Java Delight. Anyway, probably edit that out. <clears throat> At this point, you just pour them babies right there in the old pot and give it a stir. And it looks just awful. This is the way the old cowboys used to used to drink it just like this. They were kind of stupid. The French came along and said, let's clean this mess up. At this point, I just put this in here like so. Hold it down. And in about three minutes, I'll be back. Okay, it's been about three minutes and it's time to go to press. Now, if you just sink the plunger, uh, it'll hit the trees up there. So uh, what I want to do is just slowly bring it down at a very steady rate. It takes a while. Meanwhile, I'll tell you about this uh, grinder. This does have an adjustable grinding mechanism where you can just dial it in for fine if you're using a coffee maker or, um, or you can dial it into coarse, which is what I've done for using a coffee press, which I'm pressing right now. I keep hearing things in the woods. They warn me not to ride the motorcycle at night because there's moose on the road. Tim versus Bullwinkle. I don't think that would work out so good. Ooh, I can smell this coffee. Oh, hello, Mr. Squirrel. It's dramatic, isn't it? Nice and slow. Don't want to rush these things, you know? I learned that patient stuff from that Mr. Karen's guy. All right, she's all the way down. At this point, I can pour. Ah has a good color, wonderful aroma, and I got three cups of this wonderful stuff. 
to Scott Cairns and his orchestra. Bottoms up. Uh -huh. That's good. Thank you, Scott. See you around the old barn.